Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Daniel Obam, who is the Secretary for the National Communication Secretariat for Kenya. Daniel, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for having me. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, WRC uh, 19. Sure. What have been your main areas of interest here at WRC? Thank you very much for the question. Um, uh, quickly, we are interested in Agenda Item 1.13 which is looking at uh, spectrum for uh, IMT 2020 or 5G. Uh, we're looking at hubs, high altitude platforms, because we think this can provide coverage in the remote areas and the rural areas of Kenya. We're also interested on the satellite issue agenda item 1.4, which will allow uh, African countries and similar countries that had, had their uh, situation and not, not possible for them to launch satellites in their broadcasting satellite service. So for us, if that uh, agenda item is passed, it will allow us as Kenya and other developing countries the opportunity to have uh, what they say in technical terms, an improved reference situation for their BSS systems. Uh, we are also interested in uh, future agenda items for IMT. Uh, one is called HIPS, uh, similar to higher altitude platforms, but these operate on uh, IMT bands. So that is another agenda item we are interested in in the, in the future. And what difference is IMT 2020 or 5G going to make to Kenya? Um, in Kenya now we are embarking on something called the digital transformation of our economy. And uh, we have uh, released a document called the digital, uh, the, the digital Economy Blueprint for Africa, where we are looking at the using of ICT to transform our economies. We are told that the digital economy grows much faster than the normal economy. So we think this is one way avenue of uh, transforming our economies and uh, creating employment for our youth. So we think that 5G as a, a, a technology that will help connect platforms connect, um, uh, say, hospitals, uh, be deployed in manufacturing, in hospitals, in farming, can help in the digital transformation of our economy. Now, there's been a lot of talk of uh, high-altitude platform stations here, or HAPS, as you mentioned, uh, and it's also uh, very much on your agenda. How would that also help in terms of connectivity in Kenya? We have areas in Kenya which are quite remote, and it's quite difficult, say, to pull fiber optic cable and deploy uh, base stations. So we think that hubs, when they are deployed in the sky, can be flown to these areas and be able to uh, deliver services much, much faster than if we were to deploy terrestrial base systems. And in terms of uh, this conference, what does it mean for Kenya and Africa? Uh, it means that uh, we are able to use the results out of the conference to improve, in, uh, improve the livelihood of our people. I've already talked about the issue of digital transformation. So for example, if we get spectrum for 5G, we can use that in uh, improving uh, broadband. Uh, the issue of uh, eSIMs, earth stations in motion, we can use this to provide connectivity continuously in aeroplanes, in trains, we are building railway lines across the country, in buses running across the country, and in motor vehicles that are, uh, you know. So we, we can uh, use um, uh, the spectrum identified in this conference to help in uh, increasing broadband penetration in uh, to remote areas and in areas that currently don't have broadband penetration. And so you're feeling pretty confident, pretty optimistic for the end of this uh, conference here, that you'll be going home with uh, the expected results? Yes, ideally you should ask me this question at the end of the conference, there, but yes, we are sure that uh, in the usual tradition of ITU, even where we are still having discussions, we are confident that we'll be able to bridge the gaps that exist as we negotiate with our colleagues. And on Friday, when we, find the, when we sign the final act, we'll, uh, we'll be able to achieve uh, what we propose the conference and therefore we can go and apply those and uh, uh, help uplift our, our, our citizens. You've talked a little bit about uh, a number of different aspects. I just wanted to ask you if you had to choose one, what do you think will make the most difference for you when you go home? Oh, we think that the IMT um, uh, will make a big difference because many uh, operators and an operators are waiting for the 5G spectrum, especially in terms of uh, what we call use cases. In uh, Kenya, we have got uh, what we're calling the Big Four Agenda. These are uh, tied to the SDGs. So we think that we can deploy 5G in improving healthcare, universal healthcare, food security, manufacturing, and uh, affordable housing. 
So for us, we we'll try and use what we, we've gotten from here and you apply uh, those, uh, the big four, as use cases for the, uh, the technologies that we'll, uh, we, we hope to deploy using Spectrum that we'll get at the WRC19. Well, Danny Webam, thank you very much for joining us in the studio and giving us uh, a few valuable insights into your perspective and uh, the situation in Kenya and in Africa. And we look forward to catching up with you again at some stage in the very near future. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. All right.